Welcome back to AmCM Fam. Where are we going today, guys? The, the grocery store. store. <laughs> so Melinda actually gets a lot of email questions about what is the cost of living in American Samoa? What is it? cost to buy a car? What does it cost to get a gallon of gas? What does electricity cost? What 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 is what is what is food cost? The easiest thing we can do is just to start to talk about the food because food is something that everybody consumes. We're going to talk about what it would cost to buy food that's similar to where you're at and talk about why some of those things are not a good idea to buy in American Samoa. They're just too expensive, they're not available, and maybe what some of the alternative foods are that you could buy and look at prices across all of those. I'm gonna take you around and show you the typical prices and what you can find at the stores and also just what kinds of stores we have here on island. Hey boys, okay. what are your favorite stores on the island? It is... Sportsman's Ace cost you less. Our first stop today is Costi List. So it's similar to Costco or Sam's Club in the States. Um, it's buying in bulk, so you're gonna see higher prices and higher quantities. And they have a variety of things to offer. So it's not just food, it's home furnishings and electronics, office supplies, outdoor supplies, toys for the kids, books, a little bit of everything. They've got a, a nice big parking lot here, so you don't usually ever run into a problem of not finding parking. And they've got a, a nice little cafe in the in the front that you can order pizza or buy, buy a slice, hot dog, ice cream, things like that. So as you leave the store, you, you can grab lunch. So just recently, we've had some shipping upsets with the island, the big cargo ships that come in. They've um, had one that was broken down for a while. They had two lines that consolidated into one. And as a result, we went from having one big cargo ship every week to one every two weeks. And the inventory of food has really suffered because of that. There have been people that will come in and just buy out entire loads of food because they're worried about making it through the next two weeks. It's been a concern. One of the main ways we see the impact of this shipping stuff is through the fresh produce. As you can see, our shelves are looking a little empty these days. You can buy boxes of milk, or you can buy it by the case of boxes for $17.99 or $1.99 a piece per box of milk. Meat is one of those things that's traditionally a little more expensive here. So, looking at an 80-20 value pack of ground beef for $17 for about three and a half pounds. Here's one of the more popular drinks here on the island. These Aloha fruit drinks. It's like six packs, $3.29. Now we're at KS Mart. This is gonna be your mid-range grocery store. It's a little like a Albertsons or a Kroger, maybe like a Kohl's if you're in other parts of the world. One thing that's a little different about KS Mart than maybe like cost you less we saw is you're going to get a lot of the cereals and, uh, and a lot of normal foods, but we're gonna see some brands that are coming from other places. So instead of 
Captain Crunch, we're gonna see a brand that might come out of Thailand or the Philippines or something like that. It, it actually helps, it makes it a lot more affordable, but you just have to make those concessions. If there are things that you like to eat, you might have to find a different brand. Shopping at KS Mart is a good way that we're able to find the things that we need and want within the budget that we have. KS Mart also has a, a number of other little shops inside. They have a little barber shop, an optometrist, corner cafe. So there's a lot to offer this one little location. So if you want to buy like a gallon of fresh milk, it's not going to happen. They don't sell gallons of milk. The most you're going to find is a half gallon at a time and you're going to spend seven, eight dollars for a half gallon. Or you can go for the shelf stable milk like this. So it just comes in a box and it can stay on the shelf or in the fridge. It's got a little bit different of a taste, but you get used to it. And like you get a quart for a dollar ninety-nine or less. If you like authentic Asian food, this is a great place to find some. They've got all these. I don't even know what half this stuff is. I haven't been that adventurous yet. <laughs> Baby spinach, five dollars for a pretty small bag. See how big this bag is compared to my hand. We learned to go without spinach living here for the most part. And honestly, most of the time it's not even growing. Locally, they've got a tree called Malpele, and they call it like the Samoan spinach, and it just grows wild all over the place. But here's one of the more striking examples of things that you might be used to eating, you might not want to eat here to find good alternatives to it. One air fried tomato, put a little bit of styrofoam wrapped in plastic is $5.34. So find an alternative to these sorts of foods when you come here. These are really long green beans. They grow locally. You like to just eat it fresh. This is their brand of bread, and then they make the fresh French bread at, I think, $2 a loaf. Really delicious. They got bathed for stomach, for liver, for heart, for ear. For all my ladies out there, it can be really hard to find tampons on island, so... KS is one of the few places who sells it. So you'll find these marts all over the island. There's going to be dozens of them. It feels like there's one on every corner. They don't have as much as you'll find in the grocery stores, but they've got a lot of the basics. They're like the equivalent of a convenience store or like a gas station. Most of them have these water filling stations. They'll have a place where you can fill up your propane tank for your stove, ice machine out front. They just have a lot of things to offer. It's all gonna have these kind of bins where you can get potatoes, onions, and usually they have this fiber stuff that they use to make coconut cream. But this is like a staple you're gonna find in all the marts. And it seems like throughout the territory, when you're talking about things like sodas or beers or juices or things like that, for the most part, the prices don't vary a whole lot. The marts, grocery stores, and some of the big box stores as well. You got your pretty basic brands, Colgate. You get these decent ones here at a lot of these marts. You're talking the classic, regular ones are about 99 cents a piece. So really affordable. Toothpaste are also really good, plentiful, lots of different brands. We were looking at the difference between the toothpaste for sale here versus mainland US. Something about the fluoride composition and the kind of fluoride that they use in here, I'm not sure that it's, it's at the same standard, but it's pretty affordable. All right, well that was a long day. 
a lot of stores. It's just to give you a little idea of what shopping here on the island is like. Some things are more expensive, some things are less. A lot of things are pretty comparable. And there's just the things that just don't work here that work other places. I mean, I think that it's important to bring up examples like strawberries. We didn't show you any strawberries today. Because there weren't any strawberries. And because there usually aren't, the only way to get strawberries here is by air freight to literally fly them in. Because of that, strawberries are like 10 to $20 a pound. And so we've just learned to live without strawberries. We haven't had a fresh strawberry in over a year. <laughs> since we were off island. Yeah. <laughs> Before we were moving here, we were asking somebody and they explained it pretty well. They said, if you're going to eat like you did on the mainland, it's going to be expensive. But if you can just change your eating habits a little bit to eat more like the locals, then it's really affordable. And that's really what we found to be true. And then there's also just other great ways to supplement your food buying outside of the house. I mean, there's so much food that grows natural here. Uh, you can pretty reasonably find breadfruit around and you can buy it at roadside stands. The things that grow year round are breadfruit or ulu, taro, lapele, papayas, bananas, long grain beans, cucumbers. Good uh, cucumbers on this island. Yeah. Really inexpensive, super cheap, easy to buy. But things that you can find in season, the avocados, pineapple, mangoes, guava, passion fruit, sasalapa. For anybody that's looking at moving here or is looking at visiting and trying to understand what they might have in terms of food expenses, hopefully this helped you out. If you have any other questions about cost of living or just in general what it's like to live here, you can comment below or hop on over to the blog, amcamfam.com and start up a conversation there. We're happy to share what we've learned here with anybody wanting to know. We're gonna say fa and go enjoy the rest of our Saturday by jumping in the ocean. Fa. Fa.